proudly presented by Rolex. Opera's future stars have been born in Prague at this year's Operalia competition, founded by famous singer, maestro and mentor Placido Domingo. I admire everyone that comes to the audition, and it's amazing that we have so much talent. One thousand applications, forty participants undergoing one week of rehearsals, coaching, and auditions, and a critical jury. Do I like the sound of the voice? Do I want to listen to this person all night long? Uh, do they sing well technically? Uh, do they sing stylistically? Do they communicate faces, bodies, emotions? Have they chosen the right aria to show off their pluses? The Spaniard, Xavier and Duaga, fitted the criteria and won. He has a real voice with easy high notes that are in tune. They are well produced. It is not a problem for him to sing high notes, to sing high notes loudly and to sing them beautifully. I try to, to think that I am on the, on the stage doing the opera, not doing a, a competition or doing an audition. Or, I think that I am uh, Tonio from Field du Regiment, and I don't think that I am singing. It's Tonio that is singing, so it's more comfortable for me. It's so inspiring to see him be so dedicated to young singers, to pay so much attention. Adriana, from the very first day, she was singing so beautiful, you know. And the 27-year-old soprano from Guatemala won best female voice. I must say, sadly, we don't have a, a, a national opera house yet. Someday we will. Um, there's like three teachers uh, that I would say that were in, in Guatemala, and one of them, one of them uh, sadly, passed away two weeks ago, and she was my teacher. Um, so it was a beautiful thing to win this, and to give this to her as well. Musica was proudly presented by Rolex.